Hi everyone, this is Mike Litwin with Litwin Creative and today I am going to be showing you uh, how to put photography and imagery inside of typography, inside of letters, uh, using Photoshop. And uh, this is not a new effect. I'm sure you've probably seen it a hundred times over. Uh, it's probably most popular um, on vintage postcards or things having a vintage postcard effect where you see one photograph inside of each letter and it says greetings from wherever. Um, and this is a relatively easy effect uh, to do. Um, if anybody is interested in knowing which versions of everything I'm using, the uh, hardware and software specs, I will be in the description below this video. Um, and before we get started, I'm going to go ahead and give you a slight little confession. This is actually my first instructional video, uh, so forgive me if it's a little awkward and choppy and informal, but uh, that's because I myself am a little awkward and informal. So uh, that being said, let's go ahead and jump right in. Um, like I said, the most popular use of this is probably in vintage postcards, and so that's the angle that we're going to go ahead and approach this from. So we're going to go here into Photoshop, and we're going to open a new file, and we're going to do kind of a standard postcard size of six inches wide by four inches tall. And for the sake of keeping things quick, I'm going to keep the resolution nice and low at 72 dpi, and we're going to keep it at RGB color. Of course, if you were producing this for an actual print piece, you would want to have this much higher at, at least 300 dpi, and you'd probably want to have this in CMYK color. If not at the start, you'd probably want to at least flatten everything and convert it to CMYK before you send it to print. But for now, we're just going to keep it simple, 72 dpi uh, RGB color and we'll open that up. So there's our artboard. And before we even start, uh, I like to, when I'm doing a project like this, have my background be a nice medium gray so that if I have any white effects or any black effects, I can see them clearly against the background. So I'm gonna paint this with my paint tool to a nice medium gray color there. Um, and like I said, you, we're going to be showing you, I'm going to show you how to put one photograph inside of each letter. Now, I don't know, uh, uh, where you're watching this from, but I am recording this in North Carolina, and that is an awfully long name for a state, and I don't feel like doing that many letters today. So uh, for the sake of brevity, and just so that nobody feels left out, we're going to call our state State. And I'm going to do that here in black. There we go. Nice and simple. Uh, you can fill in the name of whatever state uh, that you are in, and uh, I'm going to be doing this here in Impact. I know that's a very pedestrian uh, typeface to use, but uh, it's bold and it's clean, and I think it will give you a good opportunity to see the effect that we're about to apply. So there we are. Here we are in State. State is a beautiful place to live. And uh, since I am coming to you, like I said, from North Carolina, all of the photography that you'll be seeing will be things that I have shot here in the most beautiful state that I've ever lived in. So let's open up some of those photos now. And so getting started, let's start with this one. This is a photo I shot at a church here in Greenville where I live. And so uh, what we are going to do is I'm going to go up to select. I'm going to select all, and then I'm going to go to edit, and I'm going to copy. Now, normally I use key commands to go much faster, but if you are approaching this from a beginner level, I'm going to do the first few with menus so you can see where I'm getting all these from. And I'll probably use key commands as we go on with the rest of the photos. Um, so now that we've copied this, we're going to go back over here to the tab where we have our untitled project. We're going to go over here to the layers palette, which is where we'll be uh, primarily working on. And if you don't know where the layers palette is or you don't have it open, you go up here to your window menu and you scroll down and there it is under layers. So you go over to your layers palette and we want to have the layer selected that has our text. And then what we will do from there is we will hit edit and go to paste and that creates a new layer just above the layer that our text is on now here's what we do is you see where my cursor is in between these two layers you put it right in between the two layers and you hold down the um, option key now i'm using a mac so for me it's option i'm not sure what it would be on the pc version of this but on the mac if you hold down the option key you see how my cursor changes to a little arrow uh, with a box next to it uh, this creates a clipping path with the uh, layer below it. Or in an easier way of describing it, it nests this image inside of whatever's below it. In this case, that shape is text. And you can see now that our photo is only showing up inside of the letters. Uh, now this, of course, is very, very big. It's covering all of the letters. We want to go ahead and shrink this down. So 
having this layer with the photograph layer one selected, we are going to go up to edit and we are going to transform. And we're going to do a free transform here. And I'm going to hold down actually the option key so this goes a little easier. You can see by the blue box here where it is showing up. And we're just going to put that as close to this as we possibly can to the S. Now, you see some of this is bleeding over into the T, but that's no problem. We're going to work on that in just a minute. Uh, so there we are with the first one. And just to keep things simple, I'm going to go ahead and now close out the one that we were using. Uh, the next one is the T, and I think for that one we're going to use this picture of the body on a lighthouse that I have. Again, we're going to go up here to Select, All, Edit, Copy, and then we're going to go back here. And now what we're going to do is we want to go ahead and have layer one selected, which is the photo we just had, and we're going to go to edit, paste, and we put down the next photo. Uh, now here's the trick. Because this photo is already nested with the typography layer, if we put this right over top and we put our cursor in between these two layers and hold down option, it doesn't nest to this, it nests to state because both of these are now nested within the typography. And we're going to do the same thing we did with this photo, uh, with this lighthouse photo as well. We're going to go up to uh, edit, we're going to go to free transform, and we are going to shrink this down a little bit so it fits inside of the T. Just like that. And of course you see because this is a horizontal photo, now we're covering a lot of extra layers. And this is probably a good time to go ahead and show you how we're going to go ahead and block that out. Uh, if you've never used masks before on layers, uh, we're going to go over some layer masking right now. And so let's make this layer disappear that I just put down. We're going to go over here to this little eyeball icon. We're going to click on it to make it not visible. And we're going to go back to our very first layer, our first photo that we put on. With this selected, we're going to go down here to the bottom of our layers palette, and there is a little icon that has a square with a circle inside of it. It says add layer mask. We're going to click on that, and you see it's got this mask right here. The trick with the layer mask is that when you have it selected, not this part, but actually the mask itself selected, um, anything that is painted white will be visible, anything that's painted black will be completely blocked out, and anything that is various shades of gray will be various levels of opacity you'll be able to see through it somewhat. We're going to just go ahead and use a straight black to mask some things out. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to have all of this selected. I'm going to select the entire canvas, and I'm going to make it all black. Now you see there's nothing there, and now here on my mask I'm going to take my paintbrush, and I'm going to get something a little smaller than this gigantic paintbrush that I already had. There we go. And with white as my foreground color, I'm going to be here on the mask. And every place where the S is, uh, well, it looks like I had my opacity. We want to make sure your opacity is up to 100%. That's much better. Look, it's nice and clear. And now we have that letter only inside the S and no place else. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing with this photo. I'm going to select that layer, go down here to add layer mask. I'm going to make the entire thing black by selecting it all, I have black as my background color, and I'm going to hit delete. And then I deselect. And with that mask selected, I go in here with a white paintbrush. And now I've done another one. Okay, so now you've seen how we've done two of those five letters. And now I'm going to move along a little bit faster because I don't want to bore you with a super long video. We're going to close that out. And now for the A, well, I'm right here. Let's go ahead and use this photo of the beach. This is actually where I grew up on the Outer Banks. It's a lovely place. We're going to paste that inside of here. We're going to go in between these two. We're going to hold down the Option key. We're going to nest that. We are going to use the Transform tool. to bring this down in size. And then we're going to create a layer mask down here at the bottom. And we're going to select it all. We're going to make it all black. And then we're going to use our white paintbrush to paint it in. Now, once again, we're going to close that photo out so we don't accidentally reuse something. 
Uh, let's go here to this nice sunset shot that I have. We're going to copy it and paste it here, just as we've done right over top of these. We're going to use our Option key again, nest that inside. Uh, we are going to transform it. Bring it down to the size, at least as close as we can, of the T. Let's center that sunset in there and make it look really nice. And we're going to add a layer mask down here at the bottom, make the whole thing black. Again, use our white paintbrush to put that in there. And now we will use our last shot of these uh, trees here. We will copy it and paste it here. Option key between the two layers, nest that. Transform the size down to something that will closely fit inside the E. And it's bleeding over here again, of course, because it's a horizontal photo. We will go down here, make another layer mask, make it all black, and then paint that in. And there you go. Each one of these now has a different photo inside of it. Um, now, of course, I'm not particularly happy with this as if it were going to be a postcard. Um, either there's more things I would do to actually give it the uh, legitimate, uh, authentic postcard effect. But I think I'm going to save that for another video. This is just to give you an idea of, uh, of how to achieve the effect of putting a photo inside of each letter. So um, after this, I think I'll go ahead and do a separate video that show you what to do beyond this. But um, I hope that this was informative for you. And uh, if you have any questions, you can feel free to email me, and I will put my email in the description as well. So have fun, go forward, and uh, put the name of your own state in there. And thanks for watching.